exposure on the outside with the receivers versus the defensive backs. 17 yards to Franklin. The screen set up, but that's Bucky Irving on the outside. And the hometown hero from Sheldon High School in Eugene, who had just eight catches last year. Turning it back inside, Bucky Irving rambling inside the 15. Bucky Irving flips to the other side of Bo Nix, takes the handoff, picks his way into Portland State territory through. Bucky Irving to 20, 10, Irving, touchdown Oregon. Remember I told you, Roxy, the center part of that Vikings defense, as you watch the screen, a little bit of a counter play, and then Bucky does the rest. Low center of gravity, you try to tackle him high, it's not going to be effective, and you're not catching him when he gets in that open space. Ferguson in motion. They'll run it again. Bucky Irving breaks the tackle. Irving dancing inside the 10. Finally brought down by Parker McKenna. First half. And some trickery in the pitch. Bucky Irving sweeps it to the outside. As he gets down to the five yard line. One of the key stats that you'll look for as a coaching staff is no turnovers if you're the Ducks and no penalties. Neither team has a penalty, and I'm afraid to say that as Bucky Irving steps through a tackle. And on the screen, Irving out to the 35. Fourth and a half a yard. They'll go for it, they'll run it. Bucky Irving is gone. The cutback, Irving his second touchdown. 56 yards for Irving. Might be spared to see. Huge play, taking advantage of a defense a little worn out. You see the inside crash, all the white shirts inside. There is no one outside to set the edge. Bucky Irvin is all the way down to the touchdown, untouched. Nice cut, the vision. How about the Patrick Herbert block there, sealing the edge, the tight end? That's exactly what I was referring to. The defensive end and the linebacker had a miscommunication because there was no one to set the edge. Normally, if someone is there to contain, and for the Vikings defense, they all collided inside, crashed inside.